package. Power outages. It's been. He's up in this boat. I caught a good one up there yesterday. We're trying to update. All these will just come back to back. 412, 411. Stay on there, too. Stay on there. Yes! Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hello, hello, hello. We are in Missouri, stage four, Bass Pro Tour. This is in the boat, presented by Real Blazer, powered by Mercury. Thank you for coming back and watching. I appreciate that. Um, as you've seen, uh, seen the last couple of events, heavy hitters being the last one. That one went really, really well. So very thankful, thankful to God for that one. Um, it was a, it was a fun week for sure. But we are out here, stage four. Next points tournament, you know, we've kind of had a break from points tournament. We had red crest, we had heavy hitters, and uh, honestly, about a month and a half between, you know, Bass Pro Tour events. But you can see I'm already in my jersey. I didn't get the camera out much in practice because it rained so much. Um, it uh, it was it was terrible to be quite honest. But uh, but we are actually this is day one. We are getting ready to get started. I'm Group A. I say we're about to get started. We're probably going to have a delay, um, it sounds like, just given, given the conditions. A little bit of rundown what's been going on, kind of what practice was for me. First day, I, I spent a lot of time looking, looking at different parts of the lake and stuff. And uh, I mean, I fished a good bit and, and I caught a few scoreables, but you can get so many bites out here right now, it's crazy. You honestly could fish to get bites and I know catch 100 a day. It, it would be no problem to catch 100 a day. Um, you may not catch but three or four scoreables fishing that way. So uh, so it's been it's been kind of hard. Two pound minimum. Um, this lake's got them too, it's the thing. It's got it's got good fish in it. A lot of these fish are spawning and this is the lake house we're staying in, but they're spawning in places like back there. So you gotta come in, get in, and then tuck in and try to fish for them. It makes it really hard to cover any uh, any amount of water. But that's what I plan on doing today. But I'm just hoping that this storm front coming through right now doesn't, and it stormed a lot last night, but it doesn't uh, have them freaked out this morning. It may end up being more of an afternoon deal. But uh, but yeah, it's been hard to catch scoreables fishing, really having to look for them and, uh, and sight fish them to find any scoreables. And there's tons of little ones on the bed too. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, quick rundown, catch you up to speed. Dude, I, that one was just sitting up there. I don't think he's gonna go. But he's close enough to check. Check one anyway. Check it. That cost nothing. Dang. Two pounds, one ounce. I would not have guessed that. Well, thank you, Lord. Yeah. That fish was just up there cruising. It wasn't even on a bed. I, I dropped that jig two foot in front of his face. And I mean, he had ate it before it got to the bottom and it's four inches deep. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, why, man, they're so close. Got to get in the groove, Jody. I'm not in any kind of a groove.
barely. Did you see it in the mouth? Yeah, it was in the mouth. Yeah. I knew it was a spot, and that's why it's been such a pain in the butt. Those spots are pain in the butt most of the time. Two pounds, six ounces. Two six, I know he's key. Yeah. It took long <laughs> enough, but I finally got him. Hopefully you're gonna go. But we're gonna check him. I wish he was a little bigger. <laughs> He's a two pounder. Just down three ounces. Dang. I would I'd have thought at best two or two one, you know what I mean? When I, especially when I saw him. Uh, two pounds, three ounces. Man, I don't know what to do. Tempted to just scratch this and go fishing. That was terrible. Just to be quite honest. I've been in worse shape before, or about, I've been in equal shape and got a bullet. There you go. So, at Harris last year, I was about, I was around the 28th or something, but I was like 10 pounds out, I think. All right, we're getting ready to get day two started here. I was out of the cove from my house, and we're staying in my, I said my house, my and Andy's house, rental house, it ain't my house, I don't know whose house. We're leaving this place, headed over here to uh, PB2 to get ready for takeoff. I've got my work cut out for me. I did a good job of that on the on the first day, that's for sure. Um, problem is today, I don't know that we're going to get to fish the whole day. I, I would I would say for certain we won't, just due to the way that we've got some got some storms and stuff coming in. Looks like it's going to start raining around 11 and then probably start storming around two so hopefully we can even get two periods in before the bad stuff gets here and uh it shuts us down that's what we ha we have to have to consider today is two periods so who knows could be some uh could be some adjusting on their their times and that kind of stuff today i've not heard that yet it's just my speculation but we will see uh, and you know kind of Kind of had to really think on on what I wanted to do, and that played into it a little bit. Just the fact that we could have a shorter day, you know. If we had a if we had a full day, the cut weight right now is 14 something. Just call it probably 30 pounds at the end of the day. If we got to fish a full day, I don't know that we'll get to. They didn't catch them any better in our and uh, Group B than our Group A did. I actually caught them a little just a touch less. So, you know, that, their cut was like 13 something. You add theirs to ours, and uh, you know it doesn't doesn't really add up, you know, quite as high as what I'm thinking. But we'll see. You know, I'm uh, we definitely need to get out there and and uh, get to catch them as quick as we can. So I was torn. I was going to make a long, long run up the river, but given the uh, potential of a shorter day, I think I'm going to go down to the Gravois Arm. And, uh, and fish down there. I've fished down there before in the past and, and like that area. And it's a big area. It's plenty big enough for me to spend my day in. And uh, they live there, you know? So I feel like if I if I go down there and spend my day, hopefully at some point in time, I'll figure them out and be able to be able to catch enough to move on. So we've got our work cut out for us, but uh, I'm up for the task. I've done that before. And you know, we're just gonna have to go out and make the most of it.
about it this time. Let's see it's in the mouth. It better be a two pounder, well I know. You're kidding me. We've caught 34 bass. I've had one scorpion bite. I did not catch it. I don't understand. But uh, we've got one period left. Looks like we're going to get to fish it, most of it anyway, before we get any delays. So we'll see. A little worried we wouldn't get to fish it at all. But we're about to go. Period three. We need some miracles. We tried. We tried really, really hard. They didn't end up catching two score. One of them a really good one. With, uh, I don't know, an hour and a half left or something. They ended up catching 55 bass today. And to my knowledge, I had three score bites and I landed two of them. I don't know. This place had my number this week. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it's a tough Tough event all in all. Um, caught tons and tons of fish every single both days. Um, Tracked the same way, but man, just didn't get the didn't get the quality figured out that I needed to uh, do well here. So that is it for stage four. Tough end, way too early. Not what you need to be doing. These events been a been a weird year for me so far. I'll have a good one, have a bad one. Uh, Need to need to smooth that out a little better, but it's all right. We'll uh, go on to the next one. Our identity ain't found in a tournament result, so that's for sure. And I'm very thankful for that. Catch y'all on the next one.